if you look beyond me you can see my second load is coming now it is the next day it's about a three hour drive from here to there by the time they got back they didn't feel like there'd be enough daylight left when they arrived here for me to unload it properly hopefully i'll be able to do this relatively quickly i don't know because it looks like there's some eight foot deep sections and i got to put extender plates on the tractor and try to pick that up and find a place to put it same guy who was here yesterday so he knows the terrain a little bit he comes in a little more aggressively so he can get it up here quick and now whoo those are big those look like roof panels this is gonna be fun back the trailer up about there and I'm gonna try to lift that up and he's gonna pull the trailer forward I would call this precarious at best I ain't sure how this is gonna go down Fifty-five minutes. That's just about enough time to watch me kill myself or destroy something very valuable. Obviously my tractor wouldn't pick it up, not the whole thing. It was an eight layer cake and I took the top three layers off of it. Now the bottom three layers are windows. So since they're not very big, I'm hoping that with these extended forks I can reach across and it'll be strong enough to curl it. I can lift it and then I can come over here and slide them off one at a time onto this step. That's the plan. If that happens, then I'm done. I'm sure they're gonna bust me real good for going over my delivery window. I'm sure there's a cost associated with it. Not really much I can do. It's a 9,000 pound tractor. I thought it could handle it. It could not. Sooner or later, when you're doing big things, you're gonna run out of machine. And I ran out of machine today. That was one of my panels blowing up from the stress. Here's the damage I did to this panel. Right here, there, and then over on that side. That one's the worst. May have to have this one remade. 
That hurts. That really hurts. So what happened, this one happened to be open on one end. This is probably our entryway. This is probably a dead center, so this would be the where the door is, the entryway. And this one sits down here and goes all the way up. And when I was unloading it, the forks got over underneath of here and slipped off of the one that's underneath of it, actually. So D4 underneath of it, the fork slipped off. And when the fork slipped off, that one couldn't handle the stress and it broke. And it broke right there. It cracked open, it's all wonky and went on down, so it's jacked. And it delaminated from the backside as well, you can see through it. There. So this is trash at this point. So that's gonna cost me some money. So I'm gonna get on the phone here and I'm gonna send them some pictures of the damage that I did to this one. And I'm gonna have them start making me this one and hopefully they can get it shipped up here next week or sometime soon thereafter. I'm gonna put this all away and I'm gonna go to work on my regular job because I gotta go put in a couple hours so that I can still have a job. And sometimes it's just like this. We'll get over this, this isn't a big deal. It sucks, it's gonna bite. We'll survive it. Hope you all come back and check us out again at Break Hard Orchard. If you learned anything, Make sure you got a crew with you and at least enough machine to get the things off of there when somebody shows up with your panels. We'll see you all next time.